Your words have no meaning Cause you continue to do the same thing Now sorry is a sorry word Look at all I've done for you And the person, that job would be open for somebody who couldn't get a government job to go down to marketplace and put in that time and do that. But you have people working two and three jobs to make ends meet, right? These are the people that were asked to take a solo day and a pay cut, right? Yeah. So someone else is sharing all the profits and they're carrying all the loads. And I'm saying that there's something wrong with that equation. some whites that were part of an elite white oligarchy that didn't want, but even their children would sneak down the road and play with the little black kids down on North Shore and stuff like that, right? So the issue is an individual. So when people talk about race, they say, oh, well, you, you don't like me. You don't like, it's not, it has nothing to do with that. Cornel West coins a phrase where he says, you know, there are circumstances under which certain white people are niggified. Niggified. Right? That means that poor white people are niggerfied to the extent that a system which uses race to disempower certain groups of people includes, makes them honorary members of that group of people. Mm -hmm. In other words, they get treated similarly. Yeah. Now the problem is that on an individual basis, sometimes whites, out of their inability to understand systems of power, blame the black per person for their condition instead of understanding that it's systemic and structural. Mm -hmm. Now, if white people can be niggerfied, then some black people can be whitified. So then when black folk get whitified, then it means that they automatically become kind of honor honorary members of the oligarchy. In other words, they may be bag carriers for the 40 thieves. So they become this new class of people. Yeah. So they now buy into that ideology and they begin to look at their own community the same way that the, that the system used to look at all of us, right? And the real issue is systemic. And what we've got to begin to understand is how race permeates a system in terms of disempowering certain groups of people and keeping certain groups of people in certain places. And when we begin to understand that the problem is systemic, we've got to then have the difficult conversation of how do we change systems of power. And I, ideally, where would, what would you see as the, I wouldn't 
if I knew what a better system than what we have now. Again, I think you, you cannot talk about justice and equality without talking about how wealth is distributed. Mm -hmm. So one analogy that I use is if we have a cake that has 10 pieces, we cut it into 10 pieces. If I take eight pieces and then I have eight people have to share two pieces, it really doesn't matter how they divide those two pieces. We shouldn't be surprised to learn that eight people sharing two pieces is not enough, right? In a similar way, if we go into any nursery school on this island, and I have 10 blocks, and one kid takes eight blocks, and all the other kids have to figure out how they're gonna share two blocks. A good nursery school teacher is gonna go over to that kid and say, you know what? Little Jimmy or little Joey or whatever the name, kid's name is, little Mary, you have to share some of these eight blocks with these other people because they don't have enough to go around. Yeah. Right? That's a basic principle, mm -hmm. right? So, so a system can be improved. Diplomatic, hypocritic, try for dry land.